This video shows operation of the AlphaPix 16. Now the same thing applies to the AlphaPix 4. This is the classic controller, but similar operation applies to the AlphaPix Flex or other controllers in the AlphaPix range. We are going to show you the difference in the setup methods between multicast or broadcast and unicast. So a little bit of basic information. Unicast is where we're directing traffic from a device directly to another device. So in the packet of data will be an IP address, such as 192.168.0.50, going directly to a device. It doesn't go to any other devices. Now, broadcast or multicast is going to go to all devices on a given subnet or adapter. This means that all devices listening and that support multicast or broadcast will listen for the information coming across the network and say, oh, I have that given universe and that DMX channel I'm going to operate. So first what we're going to do is just show you a controller here. In this particular case, this controller is just default. We can see that it has a static IP address. This also works with DHCP and its IP address 192.168.10.247. And so that's on this network, which we have set up. And we have, in this particular case, E131. But this also applies to ARTNET. And so what we have here is on SPI output 1, we have a set of lights right here. And we're going to be just turning those on and off. Now, the application we're going to be using for, sh for examples today is X Lights. And this is a free application. But your application may differ, but will still be similar in operation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we have to first tell it that we want to use uh, multicast. So first we're going to show you multicast, then we're going to show you unicast. And we're going to show you how they can control the same outputs, just differently. In this particular case, because we have our controller set up as E131 as opposed to ARTNET, we're going to say add E131. And we have an option here for multicast. Now your application may show broadcast, so we're going to say multicast. And then what we're going to do is put in just our universe. So we have universe 1, number of universes 1. So this will cover all the pixels on this stream, which is, of course, hooked up to output 1, which is universe 1, which starts with DMX channels 1 through, in this case, 150, because we have 150 channels or 50 pixels. Uh, so technically, we could actually do uh, this. We could do uh, 150. All right. Now. We're going to go up to the Tools, Test tab, and we're simply going to just turn this on. And what we're going to do is just run this up. Now, you can see that we do not specify anywhere in here under multicast the IP address of the controller. It's just putting out all the data going to the entire network. So all controllers, if you had multiple AlphaPix controllers or other controllers for that matter, on the network and you are outputting data to universe one, it would operate all of those universe ones, channels one through 150. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and delete that. And what we're going to do is add E131 unicast this time. Now this controller's IP address is 192.168.10.247, which is not the default factory address of 192.168.0.50. And we're still going to put this in here again, 150, same universe, same starting uh, channel. I'll click OK. And we're going to now go and test. You'll notice that the port in this particular case shows it is being directed only to this address. So if we did have multiple controllers, this data would only go to that specific controller. So we're going to get and go to Tools, Test. We're going to turn on those. And you can see, of course, that that allows us to test those controller. So the AlphaPix supports broadcast, multicast, or unicast, whichever you like. And so if you want to boot up your application and use multicast uh, for configuration and you find that easier and there's no issues with network traffic or other issues that may be present with uh, multicast, feel free to use multicast. Again, you need to make sure that your firmware here in this particular case is at least version 2.11 or higher on an AlphaPix uh, 16 or 4.